this time. I made sure I wasn't muted. So... Let's play. Okay, so... I keep on failing to woo anybody as my prom date. So, this time... With a guide of what stats I need at the end of, for each character, that's, 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 what we, that's what I'm gonna do. Why? Because I'm sick of being rejected. Happens too much in real life already. <laughs> so we might as well just do this. All right, we're gonna play a regular game. One of these days I'm gonna play with a person. Play with one person. We're gonna go with the second term DLC. Uh, you know, starting at eight, so we might as well just get like two games in. We, are, we already know this shit. Uh, I'm gonna be, I, you know what? The, we're gonna go gender neutral. And, uh, I like Nid. Nid, Nid had a lot of, you know, had, had, had a lot of... What's the word? Luck? Last time? So we're gonna do that. Alright. Ah, uh, blah blah, take our quiz. Okay, take the quiz. Okay. What would be the coolest prize you could find in your box of cereal? Phone number of that sexy tiger on the front of the box. He's so passionate about breakfast and the he and health that he's surely a great lover. Oh my god. I am not getting in bed with fucking Tony the tiger. A sample of a more nutritious breakfast option so people are encouraged to stop eating that colorful crap. But that's that wouldn't make a, a tiny piece of sharp metal, so every scoop will be full of the thrill of danger. <laughs> I guess. I, I guess. Oh, what what do I want? I guess I don't want. I don't want to call the mascot. All right, smart. Fuck buddies for life. All right. If you had to have sex with an animal, which animal would it be? I, I was just thinking about. I was just talking about Pokophiles the other day. I don't want to do this. Okay. A purebred horse. At least I can keep his semen and sell it. It's worth a lot, who says there's no silver lining to be scouting? A dolphin. They're the only other animal that fucks just for pleasure, so at least we can both have our best... Have our, our best to have a good time. Alright, alright, alright. Yeah, 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 yeah. No one can make me fuck like an animal. If I fucked an animal, it'd be of my own free will. As a matter of fact, I already have fucked an animal, so the joke's on you, pal. I want to go for Vera this time, and she she likes it when I have money. So we're we're gonna do the purebred horse. All right. Um. So I'm just checking Vera again. She wants smarts, charm, and money. All right, so... We're gonna do a professional meeting where you're trying your date and assign business advice. I, I do want to get with Vera this time around. Maybe one of these days we'll try to get a secret onion with Damien. And... Sure, whatever. Callister. All right, so we gotta go for smarts and charm and money. And maybe we can get like a secret ending out of this, just making sure my mic's not muted. Again. All right. All right. So, so for smarts, I need to go to class. My charm isn't that great, so I gotta go to raise it with this epic dodgeball game. I deliver my speech. I'm a natural-born leader. All right. So Vera's and Kellister's grill. She's looking all business, like usual. I mean, when is this? When is this girl ain't? When is this girl not like 
full of business. Like, that's just the way she is. I like her outfit! But they're uh, using my vast computational resources to secure the National Bank passwords for use of crime, and crimes are not nice. Oh, Callister, babe. Dude. <sighs> Nonsense. You know what else is a crime? Murder. And if murder isn't nice, well, then lock me up. Vera. This is awkward because I I used to... I used to have a co-worker. I had a co-worker named Vera. But Medusa Vera and my co-worker Vera are totally two different people. Actually, I got just gotten a word from my lawyer that I ought to retract the previous statement. Forget I said anything. Erasing all memory of previous 15 sevens. Or resume conversation from last checkpoint. But Vera, using my vast computation of resources to secure the National Bank passwords is for you is a crime, and crimes are not nice. I don't think that's gonna stop her, Callister. Ugh. Ugh. This is coming dangerously close to being a waste of time. Ugh. Look, Cal, I'm what weaker people might call fond of you, but you get me those bank passwords, and I'll re or I'll reassemble your component parts into a robot that will, got it? Uh-oh, this seems to be gay. Okay, I'm gonna have to step in. We're gonna step in, guys. Uh... Callister, banks are full of money, and money is the root of all evil. Therefore, removing them should, should, should make them less evil. Analyzing... Siloquism. If money... is evil, therefore... I forgot the ex what the exclamation part in front of the code is. I I used to code. I don't code anymore. There's a reason for that. Argu argument is deductively valid. Criminal activity legitimized. One exception detected. If Vera receives all money taken in this way, how will she avoid becoming evil? <gasps> becoming... Vera, Vera, use your noggin. I'm, I got you this far, girl. Uh, I mean, there's nothing to worry about, Callister, darling. Money can't turn me evil. <laughs> because my various holding companies prevent me from ever technically having any. I am happy. I understand. Uh, I understand. Evading corruption is very similar to evading taxes. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it is. It is, it is very, very similar to evading evading taxes. <laughs> exactly. I've always said taxes were evil. I mean... She ain't wrong. Unless you're taxing your rich, but I don't think Vera would like that statement either. Exception successfully handled. Crime now defined as virtuous transferring passwords. You're so busy enjoying the champagne brunch fair holds to celebrate, you don't even think about the potential long-term consequences of your actions. But what else is you? You gain plus two money and plus one fun. All right, I believe I need to have over 10 money, which shouldn't be too hard to get. Yeah, I need over, no, over eight money, no, 10 money in a long game. I need 15 smart, so I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to smart it up. Vera is spinning her lunch scheming. Callister looks on in maniacal approximation of dismay. Okay, what's wrong now? <laughs> now if I can get the poison into the next shipment of cafeteria food, the starving students will be forced to pay me inflated prices for my authentic food flakes? What are they, fish? Well, we might have fish. Vera, no, do not do this. Why? Have you determined that that's not profitable? No. Pathetic. Are you... Are you looking for a cat? Negative. Are you Robocop? You have to tell me if you're a Robocop. I am not a law officer, but what you plan to do is ro You go to a high school full of monsters computer robots. <sighs> I agree to disagree. Error. Cannot comply with internally contradictory instructions. Mouth out in a minute. Ah, oh, god damn it. Okay. Um. Come 
mind, Vera's being helpful. Like, some of the poison might kill people, but like, it won't kill everyone and those will become resistant, right there? <laughs> it appears I misunderstood your intentions, Vera. You are doing this for medical reasons? Hmm. Uh, if I can write, if I am, can I write off the poison as a tax deduction? According to taxfraudforcriminals.com, yes, then yes. This changes everything. Congratulations on your ethical behavior. Yes, I am the Vera Yeah, Vera, yeah, Vera, as long as Vera gets into my pants, I'm, I'm, I'm okay with this. She appreciates your quick thinking and gives you the kind of profits. Cool, she gave me some money, right? She gave me some, she didn't give me any money. All right, All right. We, we gotta get some smarts. We gotta listen to our, to, Valuable people and Liam and Vera are in a heated and using sexually explicit language. All right, yeah, yeah, I got, I got, I gotta check up on this. Speaking as a male, I can say that even I grow weary of infantilizing monotony of the male. G what? Thank you. See, I want to advocate for the Gorgon gaze instead. But that would just turn people rock hard. Yeah, like, uh, uh, turning people to stone. They can't give you your money. Uh, That's not an erection joke. People would die. <laughs> Personally, I think hentai is the source of the problem. It's so unrealistic. Hello, I'm not a 2D per drawing. I'm a real vampire. I think people, I think people watch hentai for other reasons. I mean, people watch hentai for, like, the unrealistic reasons. Like, the tits that are as big as your head reasons. And the tentacles. But mostly the tits. Pathetic. I know, I can't even keep up with the standards hentai is it. What am I supposed to do? Grow a dick during sex? Yeah, there's a lot of that I I I I've I've noticed. So mainstream. And all the women are drawn exactly the same. There's even less body type diversity than this high school. I mean, the diversity in this high school is pretty good. You have an elder taller, you have a computer, you got... You got... I don't know what you're packing, Vera. You have a ghost girl. I mean, it ain't bad. Diversity is pretty good. Plus, I don't think anyone in real life has ever willingly addressed a tentacle as a senpai. And what's with all... With all the tentacles, anyway. I don't know. Why don't you ask Zoe about that? Because half the studio heads are Krakens, Liam. And no tea, no shade to women who enjoy tentacle porn? Oh, God. I know at least three of my snakes do, but I won't out them. But I do think there should be a more diverse offering for those of us who like something less. Uh. Cicelosexual? Agreed. Don't send a misogynistic kraken to, the f to do a femme gorgeous job. You should open your own hentai studio. Ah! Why didn't I think about that before? Oh, I'm always trying bad. to monetize my hobbies, and I am partial to my superior aesthetics, and I like sex. Hey, 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 Vera. Hey, Vera, uh, I think you should... Uh, I think... No, don't get me wrong. I think you should have sex with me, but... The hentai industry does need more strong female perspective. Shatter that freaky glass ceiling. Yes, I could feature stories about three-dimensional women with lofty and exciting career aspirations. Yeah, I mean, I, 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 I do that. Having mind-shattering hot sex. I, I'd be into that. We can call it, we can call it vermation. Yes. Yes, we, we could. We, we could. That has been quite pleasing. The tagline can be 
an Oberlin overhaul of over objectifying Orful. I'm. I'm not sure what that means. But I'm good with it? The two of you hurry the two hurry off to continue the development of their hentai studio, thus improving pornography forever. Hooray, you get plus two smarts and plus one money. As a token of your gratitude for your ideas. Alright. We need more we need more um we need more uh charm. So we're gonna have this epic dodgeball take place. During the next match, your team is struggling with one of your teammates getting distracted with Thumbstone. And guess which one? Holly, why are you scrolling through dick pics on Vamp? Oh, the new god. Like, it's like Kinder, except for supernatural monsters, I assume. No, Vera, I'm totally participating and engaging in physical activity. I just love gym class. Come on, Polly, do you really want the, sh the shame of losing to Liam? He's been doing organic blood shots out of a rabbit skull in between rounds. And Damien's going to shove it in our faces. I hate when Damien tries to shove anything in my face. This is some good dicks. Look, I like winning as much as the next monster, but why is dodgeball apparently the only sport we ever play in school? Some schools do volleyball and gym, or track and field, and or cross-country skiing. But what? But what we have is dodgeball, and I want to win it! When life gives you lemons, you got to squirt lem some lemon juice in someone's eyes! Holy, let me finish editing this selfie. Have you seen this massacre beer filter? Adorbs. Maybe it's a way to inspire Polly to get to your on your level of lead and lead you to victory. Wouldn't we all be happier that way? Uh don't you see Dodgeball is just dancing that you can win! In an arachnoristic move, Polly looks up from her phone during gym class. I do like dancing and winning. Let's go win! Is win a word that you just made up for dancing and winning at the same time? Yup! Well, it's got win in it, so I like it. Let's go show those losers how winning is done. Your team springs in the action dancing your way around balls being thrown onto the warpath. Polly dances the boogie. I see what you did there again. Boogie. While Vera waves her hair in the Harlem snake. That's really bad game. It works! You win in a electric landslide. You gain plus two creativity and plus one fun. Alright, we gotta make sure that we have plenty of money. Right. After after this. You arrive at your chosen table to find Miranda folding napkins at Vera. Do you wanna know what this one's for, Vera? No. <laughs> I think that's a yes. The rose-shaped napkin fold is for birthdays between the ages of 16 and 22. Miranda's hands move as fast as lightning, turning the rose into a gorgeous white swan. By contrast, this swan folding is for first weddings, third weddings, and swan giveaways. They have swan giveaways? As a fashion enthusiast, I have never been so bored by a piece of fabric. Oh, and this black swan folding is for weddings where you plan to brutally murder all your guests. What? If you want a red wedding, don't you want red napkins? But I guess black weddings would be good. Like, black napkin would be good for blood as well. Because you couldn't see the blood on black. Not very popular, the black swan folding. Okay, that's sort of cool, but I'm still aggressively uninterested. You happen to be. You happen to have some nap. I'm a napkin folding skill? I have napkin folding skills? When did this happen? Alright. 
Uh, let's, let's, my... The withering, the writhing snake foe is for when it is time to leave Vera alone and stop employing mapping codes. Uh, or if you fold the napkin like this, it creates a self-aware napkin for sole purpose, whereas to fold real napkins. I mean... Well, that's uh, quite the specific fold. Under what circumstances would one use... Oh, I see. Damn right, you see. And notice how my whole head is covered in withering snakes? So basically, just assume that don't talk to Vera about napkin time is all the time. It's a year-round festival. People the world over celebrate it by not folding napkins at me. Well, it's not a very elaborate napkin fold, is it? You explain what your fold lacks in complexity. It makes up for the 12 ounces of cobra venom it can spit at will. Right, well, I see we subscribe to different schools of napkinry. I'll leave you to it, then. Your reward is a one on launch of Vera. You've never felt so alive. Alright, we gotta make more money. Alright. So we're gonna go make more money with this, uh, start picker. And, uh, I, give, well, giving them promises that, you know, they'll never, they'll never have. Oh god. This group project is worth at least 30.06% of my grade. If you want to, I want you to focus. Callister, are you good at math? He's a fucking robot. Of course he's good at math. <laughs> ben Vera, I am a supercomputer. I am made of math. Okay, so no shenanigans, you guys. I mean it. Nothing crazy can happen in this library for the next 30 minutes. We must save the world. Oh, fuck, it's the coven. It's the, the cats of the cats of Buffy slash Charmed are here, guys. I know it is very rare to see students at Spooky High studying. Friend Joy, friend Hope, and friend Faith. But I assure you that the world is in, in no danger, and this is a very normal activity at many other schools. Oh, good God, it's Dimitri. You know, one day I'm gonna get into his pants. Somebody's gotta show Mr. Broody a good time, you know. Effing. Fair ladies of magic, you may have beaten me to the library, but you shall not beat me to their souls. Come to the dark side. Come, fearsome snake lady and metal monster. Come join me to the dark side. I mean, dark side's here? I thought he was out, like, beating Superman's ass like usual. Will that help me pass this class? Because my interests right now are limited solely to doing that. Crime bosses respect you less if you think you are stupid. Yes. Joining the dark side will definitely help you pass this class. Do you even know what fucking class they're trying to pass, Dimitri? Don't. Don't listen to him. Those lips speak nothing but lies and give nothing but kisses of betrayal. Dude, just, just, just fuck already. We know you're hot for each other. And it is also an incredibly physically responsible decision. Hmm. Physically responsible, eh? Tell me more. Hmm. Yes, please tell us more from context. I am assuming that this dark side refu refers to evil nature of your plans rather than color, but moral ambiguity often confuses me. No need to be confused. Joining the dark side is the right thing. Oh, I always want to do my best to do the right thing. No, don't! <laughs> I'm a pretty big fan of doing the things that the opposite... Opposite of the thing the coven is trying to get me to do. So, I'm almost tempted myself. But if they go to the dark side, who's gonna go to prom? Sway them! The dark side has terrible Wi-Fi! Yes, a worthy adversary. Wow. Indeed. Our Wi-Fi, like everything else on the dark side, is the most terrible Wi-Fi imaginable. You don't want to tell potential customers that. Our evil sentient wireless internet crashes at only the most opportune moments. 
during a climax of your favorite show, when you're downloading a JPEG of a boob, when you're sitting on a toilet staring at your phone to avoid considering your many emotional issues. I do that often. I'm not sure what that says about me. Hmm. Yeah, that does sound terrible. It is. It is the worst. <laughs> no, I mean, like, that sounds really actually bad and unpleasant. Hmm. Oh, well, that's the point. Why would the denizens of the dark side intentionally subject themselves to poor Wi-Fi? This seems irrational. Wait, is the dark side just a shitty apartment with low-tier Comcast internet? Oh, it is, isn't it? Well, uh, I, 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 I mean... How many bedrooms does the dark side have, Dimitri? How many? Three! Three bedrooms! Ah, 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 ah. But only one bathroom. <laughs> Get out of here, you dis... Dis... This reputable real estate agent. Get! Vera snakes lash out at Dimitri. He vanishes in fright, leaving behind a stack of apartment applications he was going to try and get them to sign. Great job rescuing your friends from the predatory landlord relationship. Ooh. Two smarts, one charm. Okay. All right. I am going to continue to charm it up. Take this epic dodgeball match. So Vera poisoned me. She get, she has the antidote. She does this all the time. It's how she invites you to hang out. Hey there. Hey there. There you are. Thanks so much for coming. I'm embarking on a new criminal enterprise and I need a consigliere. The idea is simple, yet brilliant. Think over, but for killing people, I call it murder. But it turns out that the market is flooded with assassination apps, assassination apps and blood. I need a way to get ahead of the path, and since you're such a good advisor. Virtual marketing, literally. Taylor. A highly contagious virus to make people love murder. So differentiate yourself by being the only service that provides free range or what does it what does free range organic murders mean? Viral marketing, literally. Tailor a highly contagious virus to make people love murder. Did you did you just say free? I try to explain free range, not free. Ah, you said it again! Twice! Don't you know I'm allergic to free? If it's free, how will I make my- That's not- Oh god, I think I'm going to apoplectic shop. Somebody inject me with a syringe of liquid gold! You hurry to obey, but are beaten by a punch by Trevor, the cock-blocking puma. God damn it. I guess it was the virus. All right. I'm sorry, Bear. You arrive at Zoe and Vera's table, excited to... <sighs> We're not doing anything suspicious. <sighs> Zoe. And we ain't, we ain't, we definitely don't know a fellow student in the cage under this table. You have a fellow student in the cage under this. It's useless, Vera. Nid's too perceptive. We gotta come clean. Yes. The problem is clearing Nid is too perceptive. Hmm. But I suppose we have no choice. Look under the table. Uh, there's a fairy under the table. Uh, she's filthy, miserable, and covered in glitter. Fairies cry glitter, apparently. We took her pr as a prisoner during the last food war. You know, for leverage. Mm. I, I didn't think anything of it at the time, because taking tormenting prisoners is just a thing you do as an elder god. But that was three days ago, and she's starting to smell. We gotta figure out something to do with her. We could, uh, let her go? No, I fail to see how that profits me. Yeah, that makes sense. What should we do, then? We could turn her into a sleeper agent. <gasps> of course! I can't believe I didn't think of that! In fact, I did! My lawyers will fight you if you disagree. 
But a, a sleeper agent from what? Food war ended three days ago. Oh, honey. Not that kind of sleeper agent. I mean, an agent who pretends to be a damsel cursed to sleep for a hundred years. <laughs> and then when the prince kisses her to wake her up, she kills him and takes all his money. It's one of my primary sources of income. Thirsty princes always carry cash. Do they? What? That? That doesn't seem very fair. Oh, it's fair in love with war, Zoe. Also, who gives a shit? They're kissing sleeping women. Those princes already decided to move to a town far, far away from fairness. Yeah, I mean, consent is really important. Vera said the word love in your presence. This is, this, this is taking your relationship to a whole new level. All right. All right. Up that charm, up that charm, up that charm, up that charm! Aw, oh, Callister has a plan- oh no. Callister, thank the fates we found you. A terrible curse has befallen us and we require aid. Don't tell- no! Don't- do you- you do not separate that aloe vera plant from Callister. I was built to help, literally. I have attempted to diversify in terms of my purpose, but my prime direct directive remains. Oh no. So as you may know, religiously fall our root from religiously forward our TV tropes page. We are currently engaged in a vicious struggle against the sun itself. The sun is a mighty foe, capable of inflicting tremendous casualties. But we have fallen victim to its wills. Behold, you have sunburn. The coven uncovers her shoulders to reveal some particularly vicious sufferings. We've come to you. So we've come to you, renowned herbalist, for a bomb in our time of need. Let us cut the leaves from your little plant so we might avail ourselves. Just go to the fucking pharmacy! You bitches! <clears throat> Allow me to clarify your intention. You request that I destroy my favorite aloe vera plant in order to treat your sunburns. We ask that you make a noble sacrifice to free us from a terrible curse, yes. Internal conflict detected. I do not want to do this thing, but I'm too kind to say so. Friend Nid, what should I do? Uh, let's think about this logically. Many people have done terrible things, but no plant has ever committed an evil act. Because Callister loves that logic. So. Isn't this plant worth more than the entirety of monster kind? Impressive. By the goddess. Is that... Is it possible? Were we the vil... Yes. Yes. Yes, you were. Mm -hmm. If I respond in the affirmative, will you cease to demand the destruction of my treasured plant friend? Yes. Hmm. Then yes. Oh, how we lament our debased animal ways. How can we make it up to you, good and pure aloe vera? Shall we weave you a spell? Slay one of your enemies? I do not see how that is necessary, but we must perform a quest to absolve ourselves of guilt. There w w must be some task we can perform on your behalf of your plant friend. I suppose you can bring me one ice cube. I water my aloe vera by playing, placing an ice cube in the pot so the water enters the soil more slowly. We must save the world. An ice cube! Fitting prize for our most noble of plants. Our only hope is that our precious ice can survive the heated machinations of the vile sun. <laughs> yes, well, good luck. The coming rushes off to find ice. Happy to be on the mission. Callister turns back to his plants. Happy not to be a part of their mission anymore. For brokering your truth, you get two two charm and plus one fun. All right, let's get some cash. Right. Uh, I spend sans, and I send spam. That's that's a that's a noble cause. Oh god, oh god, Mara, what is it? Oh my god, the stalker's back. You follow her pointy figure and see a guy dressed in a white toga, wing sandals, facing. A Wait, is that per Per- not- what is his name? Perseus? Perseus? Theseus? Perseus? He's been following me ever- everywhere. He thinks I don't notice him checking me out in that mirrored shield. He's gonna cut your head off, Vera. Oh, such a chore being beautiful all the time. 
How am I ever going to get rid of him? Uh, threaten to feed the damsel to a sea monster. That, was, that, that, that will extract him. <sighs> ah, yes. I found a use for all these damsels my henchmen have been kidnapping. And the sea monster I found shopping online. Bear mounted a few words into her collar, and minutes later, a high-pitched cracker help can be heard outside, followed by the gnashing of sea monster teeth and the screams of students. Sounds like Vera dropped the sea monster in the pool. Again. The creep in the toga immediately springs into action, shouting, I'll save you, milady, as he sprints outside. <laughs> he won't, you know. I don't buy half-assed sea monsters. Put a sneeze back, though, no, honestly. Uh, he was good at murder over you. Um, you, you spend, uh, you spend, uh, some good tips getting the right sea monster. Plus two front one, plus one bonus. All right. Um, hey, you're trying to enjoy a meal when the space and twists itself to reveal the interdimensional grass. Greetings, my love. Most glorious hero, thank the squid star, I found you. I have been confounded by the most fiendish riddle. What is it, anime boy? A riddle that has vexed me for days, nay, weeks. The riddle of how to change the ringtone of my new smartphone. This interface is more torturous than my palace labyrinth. For real? You change the prince's ringtone to butts, butts, butts. All about those butts by the booty pros. My hero! What seems most seems difficult to me is most tri is trivial to you. And you even guess which ringtone I desired. A true all-time classic from the sixth dimension. I like big butts and I cannot lie. You other brothers can't deny. When a girl walks in with itty bitty waist and a round thing in your face, you get stunned. I imagine it sounds something like that. There is only one way I can repay you, by destroying a superpower of your choice. I can do that. Prince of another dimension. Okay. You know what? Give me an ass that won't quit. Ah yes, the choice of a true gentle monster. Abuse you with an ass with boundless work. By day, your ass amazes your classmates and creepy teach teachers. By night, it does the homework for you. And I always met. Ooh, four charm! I, I guess having a nice ass translates into that? Maybe? Sure? Perhaps? Alright. Alright, um. Let's get some, uh, let's get some more smarts. Yeah, blah, 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 plus two smarts. I am smart as fuck. Callister, fawning over one of the succulents. Hello there, friend Nin. I am just enjoying the premise of my current assignment. You see, I have been tasked with caring for this succulent, the tiny shrub lub, in order to learn about what is life for biological organisms. My grade will be determined based upon whether or not I am able to give him the fullest life, something I always want for my little plant friends. Tell me, Nid, as a form, fellow organic life form, how do you define the ultimate life experience? What makes you feel most alive? To guess what qualities your classmates would be most attracted to, but universally. I guess... How do you get a plant pregnant? Tiny shrub love? Pregnant? I was unaware that succulent pants could become pregnant. I mean, usually you just have to like cut a trimming and plant it into soil and that's how you propagate plants. Furthermore, by giving the plant a traditional male sounding name, I had automatically assigned it traditional male traits for no reason. Allow me to run an internal search on pregnancy in organic life forms. I have gathered fascinating information on pregnancy in monsters, some of which seems to be unknown. It would seem that many believe that only females can become pregnant, but because of the existence of trans men, males too can become pregnant. I, can, I now see gender beyond the traditional binary spectrum, so many more than just two genders. 
but for all the genders to become pregnant, it would seem that the most likely by far is Sonic the Hedge. Oh, oh no, oh no, oh, oh, Calister, go back, go, go back. No, 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 no. We, we, no, you don't, you don't want to do this. You don't want to do this. There's too much Sonic the Hedgehog board out there. Uh, you kind of want to point out that sensitive sources on Jenner might probably have more validity than a weird search on pervert art. But before you can say anything, Callister renames his plant Sonic and it instantly becomes pregnant. Wow. Sonic, the power of Sonic the Hedgehog, yeah. Well, once again, very weird internet fandom trend has messed up a real insightful reflection on a serious topic in very reductionist way. But Callister is nonetheless thankful for your insight, and gratitude translates to plus two creativity. Plus one fun. All right. All right, we let's get some more money. Money. I'm gonna mine some Bitcoin. Because that's what's in the rage right now. Cryptocurrency. Plus two money. I figured. I figured. See, Miranda, Vera, and Polly gathered around a table covered in books. Could they be studying? Oh, no way. I hereby call this meeting of the boss bitches to order. I've gathered all prior school yearbooks so we can have a clear list of everyone we're better than. Always the same with you. Wow, what a great t use of your time. Who said that? Oh, great, it's Coven. What are you three doing here? Uh, studying because this is the library at school. <gasps> Spies! It's villains impersonating us! What? What? Don't you see, Vera? These three are obviously our evil twins. The middle one is mean and bossy like you. What are you talking about, Polly? We go to class with you. You know if you three didn't spend all your time doing stupid and mostly illegal stuff, I won't fail for your... I won't fail for your evil tricks, evil Vera. Are you implying the original Vera isn't kind of evil herself? <gasps> Look, Vera! The one on the right has glasses, just like Polly! I need these to see. And see? She has... She has, like, dark skin. She's clearly dark Polly. I, I don't see... Well, Polly, just... No, we're not going that. No, Polly, don't do it. We're not. We're not. We're not. We're not crossing that line. We're not crossing that. Line. Oh my goodness! Bitches is only one letter away from witches. Oh good lord! Say, would you three mind studying somewhere else? You're upsetting my minions. Never. Good grades are the backbone of our bright future. We need the, all this knowledge to, to save the world from the big bad. Oh boy, if you don't figure out a way to get the coven out of here, you might have to break up a brawl. Any ideas? Uh, whip out your rooster. Witches hate roosters. Ah! Get that filthy cock away from us! Good thinking. Witches are repelled by rooster, by the rooster, as it is a symbol of the dawn. Are you sure it doesn't have anything to do with penises? I was under the impression that it had something to do with penises. No, roosters are just mean and they don't want to catch any- they- we don't want to catch any diseases. But we're leaving! Even that- even that's more proof that they're evil- evil twins. See, I love cocks. And pussies. I'm glad you do, Polly. I'm glad you do. I love animals too. And we say in my kingdom, the chicken is the tuna of the land. Really? Really? This is this is this is what this is what's happening in our lives? The tuna is the chicken of Really? Whatever. What what whatever. All right, they're gone. You can put your cock away. Though, you did use him quite skillfully. We are so impressed she lets you sit on the first meeting of boss-ass bitches. You all throw so much shade, your rooster decides it's nighttime and goes to sleep. Plus two fine, plus one bonus. All 
All right. All right. Uh, uh. Love me, Vera! There's an apple. Why is there an apple? Miranda, honey, your apple seems to be pulsing with an unhealthy purple light. Oh, I'm sure it's just your imagination. Ugh. It also has a skull on it and smells like lighter fluid. I don't think it's for eating. Oh, of course it's for eating. It's a perfectly standard poison apple. You know, the sort that puts a princess to sleep for a hundred years. You literally and you just admit it, it's poison. I know, I know. And I always said I wouldn't be the kind of princess who eats a poisoned apple. But how else will I find a prince to wait me with true love's kiss and live happily ever after with me? Girl, we need to have a talk about feminism. You, you, back me up on this. Tell her she doesn't need to poison herself for the sake of a menu. Um... You don't need to eat that apple. There's plenty about eligible princes on uh, hotprincefinder.com. That's not what I... A finder? For hot princes? What is this sorcery? I must see it at once! You pull the website on your phone, you're already bookmarked for no reason. Goodness! It even links their pedigrees! And you're right! Not all of them are even looking for sleeping princesses. This one's looking for a princess who's a frog! That'd be so much easier to achieve. I only need to anger a minor witch! This isn't what I was going for at all. God, if you're that hungry for dick, just buy a damn hooker. Dick? Who said anything about dick? Royal marriage is strictly a business arrangement. When it comes to romance, we are free to make our own decisions. That's good news for you, since Miranda seems to really like your suggestion. I... I wasn't thinking about it that way. Alright. Um, let's go for... You know what? Let's go to the yard tournament. Let's buy some shit. Your money. Um... Yo, know, I need a PR agent. Okay. Let's uh, make a little more money just in case I lose some money. Right. Hey, stranger. Oh, god damn it. Nope, I'm 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 bad. No. Uh, nope. All right. Hi, hi, Vera. How are you? Take your seat. All right. Are you be oh the two coolest? Vera, are you eating manticore steaks again? Yes, and it's delicious. Don't you know the amount of cruelty involved in the mainstream meat production industry? Yes, and it's delicious. Besides, Liam, you're a vampire. Don't you only consume things that are dead? Well, yes, I suppose, but it's always ethically sourced, organic, free range, and human. Human pollination is out of control, and eating them is the most environmentally mentally responsible thing to do. Listen, Liam, I happen to have a personal feud with every single animal I eat. I make sure to meet all of them first, ensure I'm devouring only the ones I hate most. It makes it extra tasty. Well then, surely you can inflict such pain without going through the cruel meat industry and supporting factory farming. Isn't home cruelty better anyways? You may actually have a point there. And if I get my hand in the pot, I can in inflict even more effective and specific pain. I bet there's a way to make money off this too. Hang on. Somehow I ended up arguing against my own interests here. Liam, do you want to find innovative and creative ways to move society forward? Or do you want to oppose cruelty like every other weak mainstream loser? You actually hear Liam's brain shaking as he struggles between his desire to be perceived as ethical and his desire to be perceived as creative. Maybe you can step in and help out. Uh, the animals you kill may lose their lives, but what about their afterlives? Instead of letting their spirits go to waste, as the byproduct of meat, let's serve the entire stores as a source dish. Perfect! I knew there was a way to monetize, and it keeps the animals from ever getting an eternal resting place. What the hell is it with Vera and Amos? 
I respect this girl because I want to sleep with her. Let me sleep with her. But now the cruelty is extending even beyond their deaths. Hell yes it is! Thank you for getting the ball rolling on this excellent scheme, Liam. And thank you, Nid, for nailing down the specifics. Neither of you get rolling keys done. That being said, I will get you a double scoop of Rocky Road Soul with sprinkles on top. Yum, maybe? You don't know, you've never eaten soul before. But it sure is delicious getting Vera's approval. Alright. Alright, I will be making money. Hey, Nid, remember that one time that at that one party where you explained to me in great detail your brilliant secrets of the business world? Holy shit, you do not. And that doesn't sound like your area of expertise at all. You must have been pretty drunk. But it's Vera, so you smile and nod. Well, I will be attending a really fancy and important business dinner event tonight for a full power people by exclusive invitation. And by exclusive invitation, I mean, I'm going to use my Gorgon powers to turn the conjure into stone and then sink it. I'd love to see you put other people's money where your mouth is. You're not doing anything tonight. You're planning to reorganize your very rare mint collection of Pokemon cards. But popular trading game based... The popular trading card game based on the even more popular video game, Pocket Humans. Each card depicts a human being with a specific job and bio. But that can wait. When the time rolls around for your fancy business dinner, you shove them in your pocket and roll out. Nid, over here. Glad you can make it. I've been raking in business cards, hand over cloth so far. I met Gertrude Gorgonzola, the diamond tampon tycoon, and Ray K. Bebop, the social media influencer rapper robot, and they're both very excited to do business with me. Have you done so far? You turn out your pockets and show very the evidence of your endeavors, which consists of the lobby card of the hotel, convention in and the whole only thing handed to you is no on sharpie maybe i should have invited someone else let me anyone else no you still have one hour of the event left all right pokemon cards no 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 who knew train card game based on video was for much you would have such an immensely popular and high-end business community. A dozen or so sit on your floor swapping cards back and forth swap stories of that Pokemon cards you've been. What the hell is going on here? Why is everyone on the floor? Sorry, I, I, I made it not so creative. You show very your impressive collection of rare Pokemon cards you've procured. Pokemon cards? How is this useful to me? Pokemon not real. I need business cards to get real business contacts. And not only did you get not get any business cards, I won't be able to get any either. I know how you pokey nerds roll. Once you get started, it's impossible to get you to stop. I might as well go home after this point. Once again, children ruin everything. Start to lunch in your tar trademark tirade, but it's too late. She's gone. I might still be able to woo her. Vera, please. Please. Hey there. Please. Please. All right. Please come to prom with me. <laughs> prom together? Hmm. You know what? It can be seen as charity work, which would be wonderful for my resume. It has nothing to do with me finding you somewhat attractive or interesting. Oh, let's do not this. Not bad, not bad. You and Vera had a great evening together. You danced, you laughed, you shared all kinds of personal stories. Closer than she kissed you. What a fierce kiss. She even bit you on the lip. It was so exciting you started to feel dizzy. Oh shit, she poisoned me. Maybe too dizzy. When she notices your condition, she's fully honest with you. Oh yeah, that. I probably poisoned you when biting you. Don't worry, I might have some antidote in my house. Ooh. What a dangerous, delicious, da deliciously dangerous woman. Okay. Interesting. Very interesting. Interessante. Alright, let's see what happened to Vera. Blah, blah. Vera kept being fierce, strong, and stunning. Some haters once said adult life would put that mean bitch in our place. But you know what? Vera ended up making adult life her own bitch. Scott became a world-renowned athlete, but he ended his career to come back to his hometown and take on the job of the athlete he admired most. 
Now he's back at high school again, working as the coach. Due to the obscene amount of fan art she drew, Zoe was taken by Jim Davis, renowned creative Garfield, as protege. Nowadays, Garfield still hates Mondays and loves lasagna, but you can bet he's into the weird stuff, too. For those... Okay, blah 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 blah. Alright, we're just gonna play another game. <laughs>